I'm Paul Heathcote, I'm a chef. I guess I'm best known that I've had two Michelin stars and I have a multiple outlet business, you know, from football clubs to festivals. I remember when I was cooking at Longridge and I had a guy who was with me who was a kitchen porter who we started doing a little bit of mise en place in the kitchen and ended up being my head chef and effectively running a kitchen with two stars. I started in Edinburgh in Scotland, so I work in like a kitchen porter with no English whatsoever. I just knew a few basic words and I started helping out the chefs and one of the chefs asked me to I want a job. I was so scared I declined first. I said no thanks, you know. And for like a six months or so, I've been longer than that, I've been watching what they're doing in the kitchens basically trying to I think I can do that one day I decided to say I have a go and then I have a go and I'm here today so I can remember on Christmas Day having my hands down the drains when they were blocked with no kitchen porter whatsoever and thinking I don't know whether I want to open another Christmas Day after this it's our job as much as the kitchen porter to try and get the best out of anybody so anybody in your brigade in your team try and find something that they're interested in and if you see a little chink of light that they're interested in some food or progressing then I think it's up to us to try and work with them and get the best out of that person and I think with that you'll have a better team a better kitchen and a happier brigade do they care about what they're doing do they have a bit of proudness themselves not working just for the company for themselves as well that's a 50% of success for me if they really care you know because we can mold them later on I don't want any divining this is a chef this is a kitchen porter we're all together my head kitchen porter Adam he's a big character he started working with me over three years ago he completely changed the place we holding the highest health and safety rating Bolton ever had in two years in a row now the team of kitchen porters there used to be around 20 of them in here now we have around 10 what we have now a very very connected team to Together. We're like a family, really. You know, we're spending more time with each other than actually our real families. I like it how he's pressing in the kitchen. You know, I know it's stress really, and I working to this uh, this pressure. I, I good feel it. It's not easy. This is a very hard job. Yeah. It must be clever. Must be fast. We do more than just working together. We went also for charity event in Scotland. We climbed the Ben Nevis. I do that very often with Adam. We actually hike a lot. We're trying to involve other people from the kitchens as well. So we're doing something different. I think because I'm able to keep this stuff with me and I will give the space for them just to show them how important they are for me because they are they really are and this is important how, how, how these uh, people feel uh, um, special special